guys welcome back to another video and today's video isn't part of my zodiac series um but i did say previously that i would do sort of like a get ready with me catch up chit chat type video which is what this is gonna be um firstly please excuse how tired i look um we will go into that along with many other things um but yeah so today's just sort of a, a wing it makeup look and uh, yeah let's just get on with this video so guys i have prepped my face with my aveeno daily moisturizing cream um just because i am starting to have some eczema flare-ups just because the weather's getting warmer and i've also done my brows already um, so any products that I use will be listed in the description box down below for you guys. Also I might pop pictures up here of, or videos of what I'm actually using. Um, it just depends on what editing I want to do really. Um, so yeah. So, you'll also have to bear with me looking this way. My mirror is literally right next to my camera. Um. So yeah, so, bit of a life update then guys, um, I did say I was going to do this video, it, it was just a case of getting round to doing it, um, just because of work and other commitment issues and my current situation here, um, I don't really had chance to be honest so as you guys would have seen and uh, I can't really cover it up I look stupidly tired that's because I am guys um currently health wise my scoliosis isn't um playing me up that much to be fair I was trying to figure out how i was going to word that um yes currently my scoliosis is relatively okay in the grand scheme of how bad it could be um however i i don't sleep i don't remember the last time i got a full night's sleep to be honest with you um and there's a lot of factors playing into that um, right now, so we shall delve into them. Also, I'm doing like a blue, greeny sort of thing. Um, just go with it. I'm winging it as well. So, currently I get, if I'm lucky, three hours sleep a night which I know for some people is like oh yeah you get three hours sleep a night it's not great when I still have to go to work and deal with customers deal with other things that are going on at work that I can't really talk about um, yeah, it's not great, basically. Now, one factor of that is I suffer with insomnia. Um, and so I struggle to get off to sleep most nights. Um, So I struggle a lot to get off to sleep most nights. Um, if I get to sleep before one o'clock in the morning, that is good. Um, now I have found a little way of trying to get myself off to sleep. And I, as you guys know, I play Sims. 
it's featured on the channel before it didn't do so well so I stopped doing it um, but I play a lot of Sims 4 and so I watch a lot of well I say I watch I more listen to a lot of the videos that some of the sim gurus produce so I watch a lot of um, Jessica Pi YT um, I've started watching Nina Smith sorry if I've butchered your name um, Sim Lissy those sorts of people on Sims uh, Griffey she has recently just changed her name from Miss Griffey to just Griffey and I watch a lot of those people I say watch, I more listen to the videos and that's them what sends me to sleep I don't know what it is about them talking about a speed build that sends me to sleep but it just does and I'm grateful for them making Sims videos. Don't get me wrong, I do eventually watch the videos and actually get ideas from the builds. Um, but initially, it sends me to sleep. And so I am grateful that they make videos. Because <laughs> otherwise, I wouldn't get to sleep. Um, so yeah. So that's one little way I found of getting to sleep. Um, but again, like I say, if I get to sleep before one in the morning, that is pretty good going for me. And then I, I struggle to stay asleep. Um, mainly because if I'm not getting to sleep until after one in the morning, my dad wakes up at around about 3am to get ready for work um, and he he's not the quietest of people um, so yeah nine times out of ten I get woken up by my dad um, now stress is a factor in this I do get stressed out very very easily and it's become a factor with my sleep. Um, so yeah, that is an issue with it. Um, another issue, like I say, is not having somewhat quiet like I say I, I listen to the YouTube videos but other than that everything else has to be quiet and I don't always get that in my house unfortunately um, and it is what it is I can't say to dad don't get ready for work um, because he's got to go earn the money um, but at the same time he probably could be a little bit quieter it would be nice and the other factor is currently um, my living situation yes I am at my parents that's not changed um, I am saving for a house with Sean um, however houses aren't cheap and here in the UK we have a cost of living crisis so nothing's cheap at the moment um, it seems like everything's going up in price and wages just aren't going up to cover it so there's that issue as well um, it's one of those things but Sean is currently living with me and it's the two of us in a box room which measures I believe six and a half foot by six foot give or take Sean is six foot two so you can imagine how quite 
close proximity we're living with each other and it's been like that for the past month it's purely because he is having building work done at his house and his bathroom it has been out of use as such um so because he works in quite a messy job he has to have a shower every night after work and he's not been able to do that at his house so he's been living here so he can make use of my shower um and that's pretty much the situation of it so the two of us have been living out of this box room which hasn't been the easiest um we've managed we've not really fought or had arguments as such um but it's just not been the easiest of situations to live in and because i can only fit a single bed in my bedroom the two of us have been in a single bed which again isn't easy when sean likes to starfish um so yeah it's been a lot of me having a slither of the bed <coughs> because of that which i'm not i'm not moaning about like it's been nice having him here and i don't really want him to go home i know he's got to but i don't particularly want it to happen because it's actually been nice having the company considering nine times out of ten it's just me on my own in my room But it would be nice to have my bed back. Um, so yeah, that's my current home situation. Um, other than that, it, it's been relatively okay here. Um, can't complain too much. Um food shopping has skint me for the month because sean eats for england um and he will be buying the next food shop let's put it that way um he gets paid at midnight so he will be buying the next food shop um but yeah other than that it's not too bad so just quickly jumping in with a product i am going to be using the Primark My Perfect Colour Illuminating Foundation in the shade Porcelain. Um, I just got it to try out because I'm actually running out of my current foundation. So it was just... It was there I needed a, a foundation. Um, I've not actually used it. So we shall see what it's like. Right, I'm not going to use a lot of it because I don't know what it's like. I don't know what coverage is like or anything like that. And it looks really pale. No, I know I'm pale, but I didn't think there was foundations quite this pale. We shall see. We'll carry on and see. Um, so yeah, relationship-wise, me and Sean have now been together two years we celebrated our two year anniversary on the 17th um and okay yeah we've had our ups and downs over the years but we seem to be okay we haven't really argued since he's been living with me mainly because he's not gone out drinking but that's the biggest issue with him is his drinking um but he is slowly learning to cut it down and say no which is a miracle um i think it's mainly because he's got his head screwed on for saving for a house so he is doing the main part of the saving whilst my wages have currently dropped um and my work hours have dropped and i'm mainly doing the organizing of trips and 
making sure that's all paid and stuff um so yeah we we even it out um like i say he is doing the main bit of saving when it comes to the house um just because currently i'm not getting the hours that i was getting before for work which i will delve into in a little while um so yeah but other than that we're doing pretty well it would seem he'll probably tell you something completely different but you know um so yeah also another new product it's the illuminating under eye concealer from primark now i got this in a darker shade because i have used it um but it is a new product that you guys haven't seen before i use it for my contour um which i think most people use it for that but i don't apply a lot um to my forehead or my jawline um just because it is on the warmer side and the first time i used it i applied too much and sean called me an implumper so um i tend to apply more to my face uh like my cheek bones than i do anywhere else um but it blends so easily and it's like cut my um makeup time down a lot and i feel like it's gonna work well for when i do actually do something like bellatrix lestrange which is what i'm gonna be doing for halloween or one of my halloween looks shall we say the other one is proving a little bit difficult to get fabric to make um But no, so I feel like it would work really well when I do that, just because I'll be able to chisel out my cheekbones. So I'm going to go in with my old foundation, which is the She Glam one, just to sort of sort this side out a little bit. Um, so yeah, no, things seem to be relatively okay with home and work uh not work relationship um minus the sleep deprivation which is something i will eventually overcome um in time it's just one of those things but yeah i'm now looking for stuff here you go so another new product that I got um, is the Primark Cream Blush. This is in the sh peach shade. Now mine rattles about quite a lot and I don't know if it's meant to do that. But it is what it is. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's sort of the Rare Beauty dupe. Now I just take a little bit on my finger and pop it on my cheeks just to bring some colour back in because you know as I've always said in the past I am Casper the friendly ghost so just to really bring some colour back in so I don't look as dead to the world um so yeah so moving on to like a work update I am still at Travel Lodge um however the situation there isn't the best and i i'm not sort of feeling like i'm part of a team anymore which is a little bit crap because we are meant to be a team um people have come and gone sort of thing and um yeah, it's, it's not the best situation to be in. Um, we do, however, have a manager now. Whereas the past 
year we haven't had a set manager this manager was acting manager she's now taken on the job um so yeah it's one of those things i can't talk too much about it because i don't know if they're going to see this video and i don't know if they're going to pull me up for anything on this video because they do seem to pull people up for a lot of things that are meant to be like light-hearted jokes and stuff like that and they just take offense to a lot of things so i'm not going to mention too much about it just know that work's gone a little bit downhill okay guys um and that's all i can really say um because like i say i don't know if they're gonna see this video i don't know if they're gonna take offense to it or anything like that so it's one of those things um and unfortunately there's not a lot i can do about it obviously um if i do ever leave there and whatnot um I will do a full update or if this manager we've currently got decides she no longer wants the job then I will do a full update for you um, but until then there's not really much I can say in the grand scheme of that side of it um, which is unfortunate because there's a lot of things I want to get off my chest but I can't um so yeah it's just one of those things um and yeah i just have to sort of leave it at that when it comes to work um as an update which is crap for you guys because i really wanted to do like a full update but i physically can't um i'm sorry but i don't want to put my job at risk so yeah So, um, modelling. I still do modelling, not as much as what I would like to, but it's one of those, again, one of those things that can't be helped. Um, unfortunately, work gets in the way, life gets in the way. Um, oh. Yeah, so work and life gets in the way and it, it can't be helped. Um, I did, however, do my first shoot of this year, um, earlier in the month, and it went really well. Um, it has opened my eyes up to what I'm comfortable with. <coughs> <coughs> Powder fumes. Yeah, so it has opened up to what I'm comfortable with and what I'm less comfortable with now. Um, and whatnot. But it allowed me to be creative again, which is what I really wanted to do. Um, because I, I've missed that. I mean, I'm starting to be a little bit more creative with makeup just because I don't get time to do a lot of shoots anymore. Um, and so this is like my creative outlook, this is why I'm doing this look today. Um, but yeah, so it allowed me to be creative and explore things. And we did some gel lighting stuff, um, some of which are posted on my Instagram, so go check it out. My Instagram is here. And they were done by an amazing, talented photographer who I can't fault. I work with him so much now that he's more of a friend than he is um, 
a photographer and whatnot and yeah um go show him some love and support he will be tagged in the post on instagram um and yeah so it allowed us to do a lot of different things we also did a painty type one that won't be on my regular instagram it will be on my modeling instagram um in time but that also allowed me to just be a kid and play with paint again um which i loved he loved seeing it because i don't get that anymore um so yeah so this next bit i am just gonna like somewhat time lapse a lot of it because i'm gonna be using some rhinestones these are just craft rhinestones from the works um it costs one pound fifty for this whole color wheel um this was my original one it is running out so that's why i've got a new one um but you get various different shades in here and it's just a, a sort of twisty lid to open this section up to any of your colors and yeah so i am gonna quickly time lapse the gemstone type thing um just because it's going to take me time and yeah i will be back talking with you guys in a minute all of the rhinestones gemstones on um so yeah on to um sort of talking about what i've been doing recent trips <coughs> um future trips that sort of thing um so recently me and sean have been for, uh, away for our anniversary so uh, last Wednesday we went to Norwich um, 
somewhere we've never been but it's not actually that far from us um and actually it's quite a nice little place um we definitely wouldn't spend more than a day or two there um just because we managed to get around near enough for everything probably could have spent longer in like some of the antique shops but we got round pretty much everything pretty quickly um n nice little old-fashioned um place and definitely would recommend for like maybe a weekend break or something but yeah um definitely quite a nice place to go to um and whatnot but it was just like a night away for our anniversary and whatnot so yeah I'm attempting to put lashes on when I've put rhinestones, rhinestones, rhinestones really close to my lash line. Um, so that's fun. Um, so yeah, that was our most recent break. Um, other than that, over bank holidays, we've been going out to different places. So we went to Hunstanton, which is sort of near Norwich, um, on the way to Norwich, um, beautiful little seaside town just for a day out, uh, we also went to Rutland Water and he made me walk eight miles, um, mainly because he walked three miles in the wrong direction to where we wanted to go, but no, that was really nice, um, as well we visited Normanton Church down there, which is somewhere I'm planning on doing a photo shoot later in the year when it warms up and last night um you could actually see the northern lights over normanton church which was really nice um one of my friends went round down there and took some photos um go check him out he's under the name matthew smith he does some amazing landscape photos and you can buy them off him um but yeah so um we went there the day we went it was rather rainy the weather didn't know what it wanted to do we had rain we had a hail we had sun we had the lot of it all in one day um as for future trips i personally am going on a couple more than sean so i am going to go see iceland kills in nottingham in june um so if you're going to that gig hit me up um, I am going on my own, <laughs> and it'll be the first time going on my own. Uh, July, I am going to see Hollywood Vampires with my mum. Um, so that'll be interesting, because me and mum don't really go to gigs together. Um, and then also, in July, me and Sean are going away for my birthday. We are going to Cornwall. Um, my first time ever going to Cornwall, so that'll be interesting. Um, I figured I'd better do my lips rather than sit here <laughs> just rambling away. Um, So yeah, we're going to Cornwall in July. And then we have Disney in October. Which is finally starting to come along nicely. We haven't got much left to pay on Disney. And we should have that paid this week. Um... And finally, Sean's been able to send off his documents for his passport. Um, so we're just waiting to hear on when he can have an interview. Because it's now working that out that everyone who wants a first time British passport has to have an interview whether you are British born or not unfortunately which 
makes the process even longer but we're getting there with that I already have my passport I've put it away somewhere don't ask me where but I've put it away somewhere um so yeah and then November we hopefully are going to be going away for Sean's birthday we've not decided where yet though because Disney is our main goal for this year um so yeah and finally guys youtube videos um i am still gonna do my zodiac series our next one is taurus which i will be filming on wednesday for you guys so it should go up this week um if not next week because i am uploading this one this week as well um so yeah you will have that one coming to you guys along with the rest of the zodiac series wednesday is just going to be filming day to get everything done um hopefully i really want to bring back ghosty glam probably be a halloween thing that i do um but yeah i really want to bring that back because i actually love doing them they're so interesting um, and we are actually going to be visiting one of the places that I have on my list. Now, I don't think I've shared this one with you yet. Um, no, it doesn't look like it. The Jamaica Inn in Cornwall. It's on the way to where we're going. So we are going to stop off there um, and maybe have a drink. Ask about the ghosts and stuff like that see if we can't capture anything but mainly i want to go because it's somewhere i've researched um quite heavily so yeah we are going to go there so i do hope to bring back ghosty glam in the autumn full october time halloween time um just because i love doing that whether you guys like seeing it or not i love doing that um so yeah and maybe do some behind the scenes of photo shoots um some vlogs again hopefully some creative makeup like this because i miss doing this um so yeah that is pretty much a full update for you guys all products that i used will be listed in the description box down below for you guys along with all of my social media and yeah I shall see you in the next video. Bye guys.